Hi folks, Matt Easton here. So a point that keeps coming up over and over and over again in the comments underneath my videos, um, and yet I have dealt with it in the past in previous videos, is the issue of, um, oh, why wouldn't person X carry this weapon set around? Um, why would a person carry a buckler if they could carry a shield? And this is the specific example that prompted me to make this video, yet again reiterating this point. So, sword and buckler versus sword and shield. Generally speaking, there isn't a huge difference between them. I would give the advantage to the sword and shield in most situations. Yes, I do very occasionally spar with sword and shield. More often than that, I spar, spar with uh, sword and buckler. I have sparred against both, and so have lots of other people I know. And uh, people I know are instructors, are very reputable and well-known instructors of sword and buckler. And I know a couple of people who uh, teach sword and shield. Some of you mentioned uh, Roland Vorchekas, um Viking sword and shield videos. I know Roland uh, relatively well. Um, in fact, I had an email exchange with him yesterday. Uh, Colin Richards also does Viking sword and shield stuff. I know Colin very well. Um, so I do know these people, I have sparred with these weapon sets. So why doesn't a person walk around all the time with a sword and shield? Because a shield is a massive pain in the ass to carry. And that's right, I said ass. that's British for ass in America. Um, you, the difference is that many of the weapon sets that we look at in uh, historical fencing, but indeed in just that I cover in the videos that I do, whether you're talking about rapier, saber, rapier and dagger, small sword, um, arming sword, long sword, arming sword and buckler, side sword, side sword and buckler, side sword and dagger. These are sidearms and this is the point. They are sidearms. You can walk around with them all day and kind of not notice. Once you've got used to wearing a sword, you can carry any of the aforementioned things, swords of most types except for, except for the big Zweihanders, swords, bucklers, daggers, cloaks, and a few other weird things like lanterns and other things that have been used in the left hand over the years. Um, these are the main objects of historical fencing because they are the main objects that you can comfortably walk around with all the time. You can go to the pub with them, you can ride a horse with them, you can run with them, you can climb over a fence with them, uh, you can walk upstairs with them. Um, you can eat your lunch with them, you can do everything, you can conduct all aspects of your daily life with things that are sidearms. Things like shields and halberds and zweihanders, uh, and to a certain extent missile weapons as well, sit outside of that sphere because you can't easily conduct your day-to-day -day life riding, walking, climbing over things, having lunch, uh, having a lie down, uh, all of these things. You can't do all of those things with a freaking great halberd or a great big shield or a, a pike or, or a, um, a crossbow with a quiver full of uh, bolts very easily. Okay, So this is the point guys. Sword and buckler versus sword and shield, which is what prompted this video, Sword and shield has a slight advantage. However, oh, why wouldn't I just use a sword and shield then? Because you can't walk around with a shield all the time. Okay, this is not this is not Skyrim, uh, and this is not you know like a role playing game, um, or it's not LARP or reenactment where you actually go and really do that thing for you know a couple of hours. Think about how often weapons are actually used. Even in the medieval world or the ancient world, m weapons were very rarely used in a person's life. If a person was unlucky, they might have one or two, or potentially even five, encounters in their entire life where they had to use their weapons to defend themselves or to attack someone else. Okay? You are not going to spend your entire life carrying huge amounts of armaments around. <laughs> First of all, it's probably not going to be socially acceptable. People, just like today, people would look at you and go, uh, what are you doing? Like, why are you walking around with a pike? Secondly, it might not be legal. In, in many cases in uh, medieval Europe, there were certain laws restricting what you could walk around carrying. But thirdly, it's just ridiculous. Ridiculously tiring and inconveniencing to yourself. Okay, so, to conclude, the reason that we often talk about certain weapon sets against certain other weapon sets is because they fit within one grouping that we can call sidearms. A sidearm is anything that you can easily walk around with or wear 
side arm, you wear it at your side, you can wear all day, every day, and conduct basically all of your business whilst having that thing on you. Things like large shields, halberds, partisans, whatever, they don't fit in that group. Okay guys, cheers!